Futurama the game. Hello everybody, Jason0905 here and welcome back to my let's play of Futurama. In this in the last episode, I had just done the old New York level. And now we're moving on to the LED red light district level. Don't worry, there won't be anything too graphic. It's a robotic red light district, so it's not so bad. Let's get into it. Got protoplasm? Get it? Because we don't have protoplasm in the now times. That's a future thing. I couldn't imagine that being very tasty. Nothing green is very tasty. Does this casing make me look fat? Stop asking me that. Please be advised. Mom's old-fashioned curfew is now in effect. Only death troopers and bad guys should be out on the street. What a fine! Only death troopers and bad guys. So you're a bad guy, you're allowed to roam his mum's streets. Okay then. Tattoo and... Something parlor. Oh yeah. Here's our new weapon. No weapon! And this is an awesome weapon. A Tommy gun is just an awesome weapon. We'll get to use it in a bit, but first we have to get out of here. So let's make our way and shoot some death troopers. Yeah, we, we took the sewer to avoid the death troopers. But you know what? Bugger it. We're just going to start killing death troopers now. And yeah, we can lucratively use the shotgun as much as we want now. Is this set off? I don't think this one sets off. Ooh, Nibbler. There's our first Nibbler. It's only four on this level. It's not a very big door, is it? That's the poster that Bender hung up in his room. Like when Fry and Bender were finding a place. It's in one of the very early on season seasons. Screw it. I made it. If we fall down now, well, that's just a big waste of our time. There we go. Grenade tossing bot. See you. <laughs> Take that, you bitch. I could use that kind of slurm, though. Give me a sec. That grenade hurt a little. Come on, camera, don't stop me now. There we go. Checkpoint. Can we not come through here? Oh, crap. Let's not waste our ammo. I think we have to come down. Okay, let's pop down. Uh. Look at that tracking. How much ammo did we get per pick up though? 50? Not too bad. There's ammo everywhere, so that's nice. I believe you can only fire it in small bursts as it fires ridiculously quickly. I don't know if you could just do like trigger one shot shots, then I probably would to break open stuff. Search for a new flavor of crayon. If you didn't pick up the machine gun in that window, well, there's the machine gun again. 
And much like the shotgun, if you don't pick it up on this level, well, you're an idiot for a start. And you're probably not going to get very far. The store hasn't opened, is it? I swear the store opens up. Maybe not. Okay, let's carry on here. Gun down some more bots. I don't think you can shoot the stripper bots. Yeah, you have to use 10 at a time. Oh, let's get you first. Look at this. Should we enter the suicide booth? It does have a dollar in it. But we're not idiots. I've been in there before. I married a human. I wish to marry a human someday. But I'm not a robot. Oh, I do need to show the burst fire of this thing at some point. I believe it does have a burst fire like all the other weapons. And... Being this kind of weapon... It's pretty ridiculous. I swear you can go in that building eventually. Is it opened up yet? We're going to see if it's opened up. If I'm right, well... You owe me. You don't owe me yet. It will open up, trust me. Maybe we need to activate some lever first. Maybe the cutscene for it. Maybe I just didn't remember that. <laughs> there we go. I knew that door eventually opened. It's got enough of them grenade tosses in. It looks like he's holding the demo man's. Tell it. Wow, this is that stuff Bender's always stealing from me. I wonder when this game came out. Did it come out before Team Fortress 2? Because then maybe Team Fortress 2's demo grenades were inspired by the Future Armor game. It's a possibility. Very unlikely possibility, but it's a possibility nonetheless. Let's try use a shotgun and then see how effective it is. I know it looks like a toy gun compared to the bloody sh Tommy gun. I had to fire five shots at him. I probably would have took much less rounds of the old Tommy gun. Lots of doors. I don't like this. Oh, there goes one. Hehehehehehehe. <laughs> I know what's going on in there. It's not what you think it is. Can you open this? Yes, you can. Oh, nibbler. Sweet. Let's just shoot the nibbler in the face about like seven or eight times. I only took one bullet to break it, but you know. Who cares? Take a little detour. Oh, the nibbler, so it's worth it. We don't need to use the pistol to break it anymore. Hooray, a nibbler. Yeah. I've already found three of the bloody nibblers. I don't think this level is actually that big, though. So that might be why. But it does give you the Tommy gun. You know what I like? Money. Right. Whoop. Anything else? Just money? Okay. Oh, yes, it's the way we actually need to go so we can get over that fence. Oh, crap. Pain. Pain. Well, we got a slurm can, so it doesn't matter. Unless we fall off and take a butt ton of damage, but there's loads of slurm down there anyway. Come on. There we go. What you have to do is grab on the damn ledge, Fry. Follow the damn train. How can I get in there? 
That was not intentional, by the way. I seriously... Like... Do I deserve it? Let's not do that, because we'll probably end up spawning all the enemies. That's not the best idea. And we'll have to, like, explore all this area again. I know I deserve suicide now, but... Let's just go for it again. It won't take too long. And that's what happens when you try and rush in this game, because the controls, they're not the best. They're a bit clunky. Like, camera controls and platforming controls. This game, platforming is the most annoying part. But all the good games have platforming, so, you know, this game had to have it. I mean, as you get further on to the game, have fun, because... It just becomes platforming the game. Fry levels are my favourite levels because at least you get to shoot shit. It's a trap. Oh, does it give you less ammo when you have more? Oh, I think it just gives you 50 of every ammo, seeing as it does say 50 ammo. So that kind of makes sense. With the shotgun, they use 5 per shot. They seem to give you so much ammo on this level that... Like, just sort of... I think it's also because the machine gun does hold 500 rounds. That might be why it's hard to run out of ammo for it. I hope we didn't miss the nibbler. Oh, can we open these? Yep, extra life, sweet. I will need all these lives, trust me. Later on, you're going to be dying a lot. In the fry levels, though, you can have fun and shoot shit. I just play as fry for the whole game. I'd like to do that. Because who doesn't like shooting shit? Call of Duty proves that. Should have used my charge shot on him. Let's try use a charge shot on someone then. But I'd rather use it on an enemy that's worth using on, like the fat guys. And someone I know I'm definitely going to hit. Oh, there's a fat guy there. Nope, no ammo. Okay. How much damage does a fully charged pistol shot do? Probably five machine gun bullets worth, I assume. Oh shit. You don't want to get in a pistol fight with a robot. It takes a while to kill. And this is why you do not bring pistols to a fight with robots that have machine guns. Right, let's just carry on with the machine gun here. Alright, let's machine gun this guy. Listen to this. Oh, okay. I thought that would be more impressive. Apparently it just fires five really high damage bullets. But you know, it works. I prefer just to go, I prefer just to go for the whole spray. It seems more fun to spray this gun than it is to charge it. Plus, you don't really need to charge because you kill enemies so quickly just because the thing fires so fast. It's kind of a waste of your time. And I have no idea if that actually consumed like 25 of my shots or 50 of my shots. There we go, third person in it. Ooh, another suicide booth. This is the one I killed myself in. The one that didn't even have money in it. I killed myself on the one that didn't have money in it. Because I'm a greedy bastard. Right, where are you, Nibbler? Because I believe we're getting towards the end of the level. This is quite a short level, actually. Am 
must be hiding around here somewhere. <laughs> Grab all the money. We need one more dollar. There he is. Nibbler! Shotgun him to finish him off. <laughs> Do we miss out on one dollar? Which means we don't get the extra life. It's not the end of the world, but it would have been nice to have an extra dollar. Unless. No. Just extra ammo. Okay then. You're supposed to give me that last dollar game. I wonder why I missed out. Probably on the damn rafters bit. Coin laundry. And that's the end of that level. It only took 15 minutes. It's much shorter level than the others. Um, so we're done with that level now. The next level will be Uptown. And we are actually getting near the end of the Fry levels. The Fry levels are some of the more shorter levels in the game. It has a lot of fun shooting and shit. It seems, it seems to be a lot of variance with the length of the levels in this game. The sewers level is quite long. The old New York level is very long. It's 40 minutes. But the subway level was only about a quarter of an hour, 20 minutes. Same with this level. But that will be the end of this episode. Thank you all very much for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like. It helps me out a lot. And subscribe if you want to see more videos similar to this one. See you all next time.